previous TRD Pro Grill inserts fit on the 2020 Tacoma. Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. That's right, can you fit an aftermarket TRD Pro style grill or insert as it really is, this piece, on the 2020 Tacoma? Now, what I've done, you guys can see it's hanging up there, obviously, above the genuine TRD Pro Grill. This is a genuine TRD Pro Grill um, that I received and put on the truck not too long ago. This is the grill that I actually had on my 2018 Toyota Tacoma uh, before I traded it off. Now, I will tell you, first of all, the little slots or the little holders on the back do fit. They fit inside the grill surround that you would snap it into when you remove your existing OEM insert. Now looking at it as far as any kind of differences go, and there are a lot of different places you can get these. I happened to get this one uh, about two years ago on eBay actually, uh, but there are plenty of places that you can get the aftermarket knockoff TRD Pro Grill insert for a lot less money, mind you. I think this grill cost me about 130 bucks, something like that, this insert. So first of all, just comparing it to um, the OEM version, you can see the letters are virtually identical. They are a little bit different in design, not much. You really have to look close to tell the difference. As far as uh, the grill work and stuff, man, I, uh, I don't know if I can really tell any difference in the uh, grill work and uh, the detail that's around this grill. It looks virtually identical to me. Again, this is a knockoff grill. It's not an OEM uh, TRD Pro insert. You wouldn't know. Um, so, as far as putting it on, a couple of things to be concerned with. Obviously, you have to deal with the TRD or the TSS sensor. It would have been right behind here on the original um, insert behind the emblem. Of course, on mine, I have taken it out and put it down here behind the garnish um, on the OEM TRD Pro grill. Now, you can see right up here, the aftermarket actually has uh, an area that you can snap out if you want to put the garnish in to cover up the sensor. You can see mine is still there. There's no garnish in there. It's the original way the grill came. I never popped mine out. I never put... Um, the garnish in here, and I never had any problems. Um, never had any error messages or anything like that when I ran it that way on my 2018 Tacoma. Now, why did I go with the TRD Pro Style, a genuine OEM, more expensive insert? Well, ignorance, I guess, is the best way I'll describe it. Um, I was concerned about placement of the camera. If you can see right here, I have a camera, the 360 degree camera system in my 2020 Tacoma. And up here on the aftermarket grill, there is no place to put the camera. At least nothing that's built in. There is on the OEM grill. This uh, area here, this little holder that you see, came on the grill. It's built into the grill. Although I will say, with the hardware that I had from uh, the original OEM setup, it didn't fit. I actually had to cut a little bit off of the bracket on the back and kind of make my own bracket to hold the camera in here. Uh, it does slide right into the holder and the holder is very similar to this. This is actually what the camera was in on the other grill um, on my OEM version. Um, it just slipped in from the back and then there was a bracket that held it down up against the grill itself. So what could be done? And I would have done this had I, I guess, been smart enough to realize uh, that I could have done it. And that is, and someone had actually suggested this to me, I could have cut out this little section right here. I mean, it would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight cuts or something like that. So I would have cut this out. That would have given me the same space that I had here. And if I was real creative, I would have just cut this little block out here, four cuts, to maintain these little arms here. And then this could have been sat in right there, and I could have achieved the same exact thing, or the same exact look, pretty much, that I have with 
this OEM TRD Pro Style grill. It's not Pro Style, it is the Pro Grill. So I could have just cut this out, mounted this in the grill, and that could have been done a couple of different ways. I could have put a little double-sided tape down here up against the bottom of the, or the top rather, of this ledge here. That would have held it in. Um, I could have drilled a whole little hole through this and a little hole through the grill here and then mounted it with a screw, just a flat type screw. And then the camera would have gone in over the top of it. The screw would have been hidden behind this piece here and hidden inside the actual holder here and you never would have been able to tell the difference. That also would have given me some flexibility to adjust the angle of the camera if I wanted to. I could have pointed it up a little more to give me a little further out view or I could have pointed it down a little bit if I wanted um, to get a little, even a little bit better view right in front of the truck. Um, like I said, it was really just ignorance on my part. I didn't think of doing that and honestly I wouldn't have known to do that uh, until I actually had this grill here in front of me. So again, you could just mount it right in there if you have the camera system and then plug your camera right into the back of, uh, of this holder. Uh, now, you would have had, of course, the challenge of trying to figure out how to hold the camera in here. You probably would have to come up with some kind of little bracket or something because there's nothing to hold the camera in here. It would just slide in, uh, but there's nothing that it snaps into inside. You may see these snaps on the side. Um, they're actually what held this piece into the holder, the built-in holder, um, on the other grill. So you have to come up with something for that. But other than that, um, not really a big deal. Now, if you don't have the camera system, and I know it's, I don't think it's a hugely popular item, and I don't think Toyota puts them on a lot of the trucks uh, that you would buy off the lot. It seems to me like you almost have to special order that. Uh, but if you don't have the camera system, then you don't need to worry about that. Your only concern really would be fitment, which it will fit. And I believe this grill is listed as uh, 2000, I think 16 through 2019 for fitment. Um, they haven't quite made it to the 2020s yet, but having done this myself, uh, I know it fits. Um, so your only real concern then would be the TSS system. Um, and as I've shown you it, in this particular grill, it can go right in here behind um, the actual slotting here uh, that's already integrated into the grill. If you want, this could be popped out and a garnish will fit in there. The spots to stick it in are behind there. Uh, so you could put uh, a garnish in if indeed you do ever encounter problems with things maybe getting in these holes because they do go straight through and blocking the TSS sensor if that ever becomes an issue. Um, otherwise, and there is one other thing, and I'll tell you now, the big reason why uh, I wanted, honestly, to switch out the two grills, because I do like the OEM, the new style OEM insert that Toyota has come up with, uh, but was to put these Raptor style lights in here. In my other grill, the slotting was different in the insert, and they wouldn't fit. Now, I might have been able to adapt them or do something crazy, but I really wanted an OEM look. And the way these lights fit in here, uh, looks like it came that way. I mean, the brackets designed well, they fit well, and it really gives you a good look. And by the way, if you are looking, um, these lights do fit inside the aftermarket grill, at least this one that I have. This grill will be given away on the channel um, soon. Uh, I was going to do it a couple months ago and then this craziness hit and uh, kind of put a damper on things as far as being able to travel and mail stuff and all that good stuff. But we will be giving that away um, a little bit down the road as well as the TRD cold air intake that I have. So it's going to be two huge giveaways on the channel um, within the next few weeks. So if you want to get a little leg up on that, uh, part of the requirements are going to be you have to be a subscriber to this channel, Rob Motive, my other channel, Rob Motion JT, and also follow me on Instagram under Rob Motive. Um, there'll be a couple other little things, but nothing else that you really have to do. So anyway, that's going to be coming up. I just wanted to get on here in case anybody's looking. I get questions about fitment. You know, when am I going to put the grill on? Well, obviously, I went ahead and got the OEM style but you don't need to do that. Be smart, save some money. It looks basically identical 
to the TRD Pro grill that, by the way, I've been told you can't even get unless you have a TRD Pro uh, VIN number. So this might be your only option anyway. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. I know a couple people out there have done it, but have you put an aftermarket TRD Pro grill on your 2020 Tacoma? And did you run into any issues with it? I can't imagine what they would be. Thanks for watching. Real quick, shameless plug. If you haven't before and you're interested and you want to get in on these giveaways, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motion JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos and giveaways. And do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the way out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.